Hello, welcome back everyone. This is Cast Mirage. Welcome back to this Persona 4 Arena Ultimax blind playthrough. And uh, we are at 70% on the original arena storyline. Isn't that something? Uh, Alright. We are, yeah, we're at the Yusuke thing. Yusuke just beat Aegis, I believe. Yeah. And, uh,. She needs. He needs to beat either sh uh, Shadow and regular Labras if the story is uh, matches up. My shoulders up bounces as well as why, uh, what my sweat uh, sweaty fist on my uh, sleeve. I'm completely out of breath. Well done. I'm surprised you defeated me. Me too. Yusuke's not a my favorite character to use. But this may have been for the best. <gasps> you are truly concerned for her. Even after discovering that she's a living weapon, your sympathy is much more important than that of a fellow machine like myself. Such consideration is immeasurably warm and cherished for us. The so voice gentle. She's also sound a little sad. I sense that she's cr uh, carrying a burden I can't even imagine. I know what to say, but she gives me another uh, those soft I smiles. I met my own friends once, and reached my own answer. I was thinking of telling my sister of these experiences. Stop referencing the answer. That game sucked. Oh, she's your sister. But I think it's better that you tell her instead. Will I be able to do that? Shouldn't it be better if I guess you to go? No, the answer is already there. I have to fix Labras or I guess uh, sake as well. Look straight into her eyes and show my determination. I don't know if I have the answer you're talking about. There is something I want her to know. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it across. But when I was going through tough times, I had my friend. Ah. Son of a bitch. That was uh, such awesome speech. I muffed the last word. Uh, silence in in Dude, do you think about everything? Pure disappointment when you open your mouth. Now I understand. <laughs> My database is perpetually being updated. Even as we speak, I am receiving information about you from the server, known for wearing a trash can on his head. I comprehend. <laughs> Wait, how come all this information about me is bad? And what's this server you're talking about? To think you would have such hobbies. The possibilities of man are truly <laughs> infinite. That's not... Senpai, can you hear me? Transmission from Rize. That's right. Uh, now's not the time to be acting uh, stupid. Loud and clear. Did you pick up Labrys's trail? She's headed to the announcement room again. I'm gonna get out of here while I can. All right, we're back to the announcement room. Announcement room again. At first, I was worried about Rize. Think about it. As long as she can use her stone to track the enemy, she's safer than anybody in here. All right, time to catch up. Uh, if the shadow speaks, uh, needed uh, to make us fight. It's not time. Means she still got something up her sleeve. I stop my cheek to wake myself up a little a bit. I'll finish I'm this this time. My sister with you. As I'm leaving, I hear Argus's voice from behind. Her words give me some relief. I don't know that we're gonna capture her and lock her up. Somewhere. Her shadow was talking about how she didn't want to be caged again. And she wanted to be free. <gasps> but you don't seem like the type to do that. I think you really do have her best interests in mind. I'll bring Labras back to you, whatever it takes, Aegis-san. Panamura-san. Thank you. Look at that, Labras does have a place to go. Yeah. She doesn't belong uh, here in this made-up school. I bought Aegis, start running again. We'll turn to the announcement room, open the door. I see his labra sitting alone in the middle of the room. Mechanical legs uh, sp uh, splayed on the floor. She seemed to be uh, mumbling something happily. Okay, that's not right. Shadows know where to be found. Where is she uh, watching from? Obviously, my suspicion labra starts talking to me in a cheerful but almost lifeless voice. Oh, it's you, Yosuke kun What's wrong? Shouldn't you be in class? You're not thinking straight. We're in inside the TV world. You're not the student council president. What are you talking about? I came here to broadcast a student council announcement. I best looks up with empty eyes. She's not long, no longer in her human form. She sucks out smile, painful to look at. 
This is not the real smile. I take deep Miles. breaths. <gasps> That's your name. You know that, right? Let's go back and put an end to this fake world. Why? Why are you saying that stuff? Well, there's the final look at me uh, clearly in the eye. She's so seen the truth. Labyrinth slowly stands up, puts her arm behind her back. She removes her wings. Uh, she expand, uh, expand to giant axe. I won't go back. I'm gonna stay here forever and ever. Oh, are we fighting? She brings down her axe with incredible speed. Swing huge chunk of steel like that's so easy, just not humanly possible. I mean, I expected as much, but I can't go easy on her. Alright, fighting Labrys, the real Labrys now. I guess what I wonder what happened to the uh, to the shadow one. Do we fight the shadow one or do we beat the the regular one and she just accepts it and uh, the shadow doesn't even it's not even a, a factor anymore. Wonder which one it is. Oh, Yusuke takes so long to t kill the opponent. Labrys drops to the floor, crying her heart out. I know this is not her. This is for her own good, but it seems to hurt me deep down inside. Labrys looking at me with her eyes filled with misery. No one can understand how I feel. That's right. They, they never understand. understand. Anonymous voice busting out to our conversation. So you were nearby after all. Why wouldn't I be? I'm her. Damn, wherever she is, I can I can see her. Where's she hiding? As I'm looking around. Oh wait, that's a new cutscene. What the heck? What the what? Oh. Okay, that's new. Okay, so that's... Okay, darkness disappears. The scenery is completely different. The view uh, outside the window has changed. There's something weird and creepy. Piercing right light fills the room. What's going on? What's, what's that? A giant metal container like a, a furnace. And something being tossed in uh, like garbage. Look closer and the garbage looks like uh, arms and legs. Hey, it looks like people. I try to calm the horror I feel creeping up in my spine. I just don't know how to describe it. All I can say is that whatever it is, it's nasty. This isn't the announcement room anymore. As I send a uh, fix the view aside, the shadow appears uh, silently from the corner of the room. She approaches me and she, she talks. Her face is illuminated by two things the bright light from the room outside and the madness in her eyes. I back away in, uh, in spite of myself, but the shadow ignores me, draws closer to Labrys. Shoot, that's right! Labrys didn't say the word the shadows need to hear. Her shadow hasn't gained true power yet. That's why she was trying to buy time. Labrys' shadow turns and begins uh, 
begins uh, regaining her. Her lips and Lambert's ear. That uh, her words tugged at her heart. Destroying them? I take a look at the horror show outside the window. Broken human fingers being tossed into the incinerator. This is a side lapis hard created, right? Then that means this is. I suddenly felt like I could grab, gasp the way the lapis was burying her heart. And I could see how heavy the weight was. Shadow takes a quick uh, glance at me, continues speaking. Shadow trying to make Labyrinth and mine uh, the, the, they're the same. I know that, but I can't do anything to stop her. S say, say something! I quietly watch the two of them talk. Yusuke, why did you s just stand back and watch this? What? That doesn't mean. Okay, whatever. Yeah, uh, we watched this. We watched it twice already. Well, there it is. Shadow goes wild and strike, uh, strikes Labrys, knocking her aside. I catch her from behind. Labrys looks at me a bit surprised, but looking in her eyes is frail, ready to fade away at any moment. I smile at her. It's okay if you can't at first. It's really hard to accept yourself. The only reason I could do it was because I had friends to help me. It would have been impossible to do on my own. I'm here with you now. And you've got Aigisan too. We'll help you face yourself. Shadow's form is a bit surprised. Instead of ch changing shape, she summons a monster behind her. What the hell, man? That's like a persona. It's pretty damn gigantic. Uh, look, that makes me weak in the knees. It's at least three times my size. Shadow's eyes glow gold as she turns her wings into an axe like Labras had. Crap. And it was hard enough uh, just fighting a robot girl, which is the which they axe. I'm gonna be honest here, I have a hard time thinking I can take her uh, on by myself. Something pops in the back of my mind. The face of my friend, of I guess, everyone who trusted me with all their hopes. I get ready to fight. Tower surges through my body. All right, now it's my turn to work. I'm gonna save you no matter what. And when we make a promise like that, we keep it. Can I get my ultimate persona now? I know, like, I read online why this game, like, the Persona 4 cast didn't have the ultimate persona, but the Persona 3 cast has. Because the Persona 3 cast's persona evolved, um... You don't get the choice to evolve them, they just evolve throughout the story. Like, but Persona 4, uh, you have to max out their social link. So is Persona 5, you have to max out all of their so each character's social link for the Persona to evolve. So like, can canonly, they are, uh, uh, none of their Persona actually evolved. So that's why they made it like, the, they gave the Persona 4 cast their base Persona. But I think, I say that's kind of stupid. By like not giving the persona forecast their ultimate personas. Wait, has her like tagline changed? Because like the the lab regular lagbears is the steel console president or whatever, right? The raging bowl of destruction. Okay. <laughs>
Raging Bow of Destruction. Cool. The shadow finally stops moving and settles down. The rental labyrinths pick her up. She's still awake, but she's expression is gloomy. A lack of energy and voice and body is enough to put me in lost for words. Do I have need me to convince her otherwise? That uh, that comes crawling back into my mind. But, but I need to. T I still need to tell you. I open my mouth, to put heavy feelings in my heart into words. Hey, there was someone I liked once, but she got killed. It was the worst thing you could imagine. I couldn't forgive myself or believe she was gone. I even tried to forget about her. I thought then that no one could understand how I felt. I mean, how could they? They weren't me. Only I could understand how I felt. That's what I thought. I'd given up. But that wasn't true. Even if people haven't had exactly the same experiences, they can still understand each other. I have some great friends now to prove it. Friends? If I'm strong at all, it's because I have them. I can remember my friends are with me whenever it really counts. Yeah, but I don't have that. You should, though. There must have been someone who was important to you. Just think back. Lepers left quiver, she shakes her head gently. Single tear uh, was all it took. Uh, like a dam breaking, she starts to cry. They're, they're all gone. I can't see them anymore. And it's all my fault! Yeah, uh -huh. that's the shot the Labyrinth was getting at. She didn't just lose them. I don't know the, the detail, but I'm gonna bet she had to destroy someone to herself against her will. I can't imagine the pain that could cause, See, but... Can't it be us? <laughs> Your friends. I say that I scratch my head to her. Hand, I uh, st stretch out my hands to her. Labrys looks away from me. She uh, won't take my hand. I'm not human. Who cares? One of my friends is a shadow. Remember Teddy? The one who was acting like your knight? He was originally a shadow. And you have Aigisan with you too. I know she was really worried about you. Really? Raises her head, looks at me, she still hesitates. Shoot. I really don't know what to say in a situation like this. I bet uh, you could have the best lines uh, memor uh, memorized for the kids' excursion. Okay, okay. After I try something that sounds natural, no matter the, if it's particularly savvy or not. Time for a child joke. I'm gonna get tired leaving my hand out like this. I best look uh, confounded a brief moment, but it looks like I choose right. You are something, you know that? I just smile, Labyrinth takes my hand. It's cold and hard, but it feels natural. Because I know it's the hand of a girl who's trying her best. I'm not alone. That's right. We'll be by your side. Labyrinth's natural hand slowly stands up. I help her help her up, but she puts it on um, my arm way and walks towards her shadow. The shadow says nothing, just stares at Lapras. You weren't wrong about how I feel. Alright, we're skipping past this too. Wow. It's such an elegant white uh, silhouette. Hard to imagine it was the same as Black Bulb Shadow. I was worried there might uh, be something wrong, but she was damaged or something. Uh, she turns to me. I can see strange in her eyes. I breathe a uh, breath of sign of relief. I lift my fist and cheer for a call to her. Let's get going. Back to where my where our friends are waiting. You now she's accepted herself, she nods to me a smile like uh, when I first met, not even brighter. Labyrinth accepts her shadows and, uh, and the host disappears for a while. I was worried the P1 Grand Prix was gonna end. It's all over now. Uh, so that's left for us to get heck out of here. I hear uh, from Raisin those uh, uh, fantastic uh, invisible walls disappeared. I'm gonna go to meet my buddies and I guess, or so I thought. Wait, what? Led by Rizé, Yushie, Yukiko, all, uh, all came running into the announcement room. 
Teddy Conjure not to follow them, wait to rush things. You guys could want to run around if I'm uh, stuck in a cage all day too. To investigate the scene is back together. Everyone's surprised when they see Labyrinth. I mean, I can't blame them. See, she's a robot. I explain the circumstances to them. Labyrinth looks tense the entire time, but of course, you don't have to learn how to transpire. Wasn't a single one of us who could blame her. I lost in the very first round. I wish I could have fought a little more. I'm glad that I didn't have to fight you, Chie. At least fighting against Yosuke Kun didn't trouble my conscience much. <laughs> it didn't? <laughs> there, there. She can say that because she loves you. Pardon me if I don't share your optimism there. These guys are always too easy going. I'm complaining, Kongji uh, seems pretty and enthusiastic. It ain't good for our bodies if we don't let our personas out once in a while. But normal people can't let them out. I'll sponsor a real Grand Prix. I'll call it our very first go on a date with Teddy Grand Prix. No one would enter. <laughs> cool. Teddy falls and throws himself into Labrys's arm. She hesitantly opens her mouth to speak. Man, whatever. As long as it makes Labra right. smile. It's time we go back. I want cheers in agreement. We are headed to the roof. That's where the exit TV world, the studio area. Plus, we can meet up with I guess while we're there. All Teddy has to do is bust all the exit and we're back to Arjun Ness. We climb the stairs and expect it. I guess he's waiting for us. I need some water. <laughs> 